Hello. Sorry, I um, started this off and I started a video and then I had an alarm go off and it totally erased my video. So um, what I've done up to this point so far is I have mixed 320 mils of resin and divided it up into my coasters. I've gone around the edge with a little um, pointy tool and made sure that there are no bubbles along the edges that would cause issues with my um, coasters setting up. I did set aside 50 mils for my white and just now I added four drops of Cast and Craft, which is what I use for my white pigment. And I'm gonna mix it up and see if it is um, a good color or if I need to add more. I feel like I'm gonna have to add more. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna add another drop and see. Make sure you shake it up really well before you use it. It helps to bring it down to the tip and then you don't have to worry about it um, getting stuck or having to squeeze really hard to get it out. Um, every, a lot of people say that it's hard to get it out of those bottles. I have not had that issue, thankfully. All right. All right, that's better. That's more like I, I like it. You can barely see the popsicle stick behind it and that to me is telling me it's a good color that will work for my blooms. So I'm gonna set that aside. These are the colors I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna use sky blue and I don't know the name of this off the top. It's, the, it's GR on here. I got them from Amazon. I will put a link um, under the video for you. So if you wanna order it, there you can. It's pretty good. I don't mind it. It's you know pretty decent. It has good colors and it spreads really well. So I'm gonna use sky blue. This is malachite, so that's a green. Turquoise, which it ends up being more blue than green, but it's kind of in between. And then finally, I'm gonna use, what color is this? Grape, sorry, it's kind of hard to see. It says grape right there, so I'm gonna use grape. So, um, and then if I feel like I need some more um, purple, I have this one right here, which is violet. So I'm gonna keep that to the side. I'll just kind of play it by ear when I'm doing the drops to see how it goes. Um, I think I'm gonna start off in the middle with the green, um, with the malachite. So we'll start off with the malachite in the middle. I'm gonna put two drops in the center, center-ish. I'm not very good at making sure it's exactly in the center. It's kind of hard when you're doing it from far away just so it can show on the camera. And then I think I'm going to do the grape. So we'll go around here. It's a really pretty kind of pinky purple. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna do this. All right, it's kind of taken over my green in the middle. So I'm just gonna pop another drop of green in the middle make sure that we can see that and it doesn't close up. All right, I think the next one I'm gonna use is the sky blue. Everything pushes towards the center, but it's okay because I'm gonna go and swirl it anyway. You want to try to have color all the way to the edge because it does go in towards the middle and if you don't get it all the way to the edge you might end up with a lot of clear not that that's a problem but um it just looks nice when you don't have it so this is the turquoise i'm going to add the turquoise around here so we've got going to the edge with the color whoops totally got that on the coaster <clears throat> see if I can wipe that up a little bit. Okay, here we go. I think I might have, hold on. Yeah, 
this turquoise is looking a lot like the green in the middle. Not that that's an issue, I think it's gorgeous. It does come out to be like a pretty bluish green. All right, those are looking good. I kind of like that. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna check on my resin here. I'm gonna need to let it thicken up for just a little bit. I'm probably gonna wait about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and we will work from there. All right, welcome back. It's been about five minutes and it's hard to tell from the camera, but this is starting to get a little bit thicker. I can feel when I stir it and then the outside is starting to get warm. So um, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna pour it into my little bag here then I'm gonna swirl the ink, and then we'll get this show on the road. This color combination is one of my favorite color combinations. I'm a little bummed you can't see the green. I'm actually thinking I might add some green around the outside. Um, just a little bit more ink. I'm gonna think I'm gonna add this emerald green around the outside so that maybe we can get some green going because I can't really see any of the green. And I wanna make sure we have all the colors here. I think that's a little bit better, at least for what I want. Alrighty, well, that one's got a little bit more, a little bit more green. Almost cut that on fire. I uh, should have just popped the bubble a different way. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swirl this a little bit so we have some little color moving around. I'm going to start in the middle and go outward so that the purple can kind of spread a little bit. Okay, like that. Get myself a towel here. Okay. super mega green. Whoops. Starting in the wrong spot here. Throwing myself off. Usually I start on the outside and go in, so I was just doing something a little bit backwards. I'm going to do this one again real fast. There we go. All right. Let me wind up my bag here and we'll get going look like. I hope they turn out nice. They look really pretty. At least the colors look really pretty to me. All right, I got my bag here and I'm just going to go ahead and squish everything down and I'm going to twist, 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 twist so nothing will come out and then I just kind of tuck it there. Uh, I'm going to get some scissors. Now there is air right here and that's okay because I will end up squeezing it out and tightening it more. You just kind of can't help that. But this gives me a chance to be able to cut the tip. So I'm gonna cut right about there to start off with. And then I'm going to wind it up gently to kind of get rid of the air. There we go. And let's see if that is big enough. I think that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna start. I, now I always do swirls. Every time I try to do petals, it messes up, so I'm just gonna start by doing swirls here. I'm gonna find a good way to hold this here. Here we go. Now, as I've mentioned in my other videos, 
I'm really shaky. I have a little bit of a tremor going on, so. But it doesn't really matter because it all turns out okay in the end. And I try not to overlap, but sometimes it works out that way. I've got a little blob there in the middle I'm gonna have to take care of. So thankful to Julie that I saw her video from Pouring Your Heart Out and how she demonstrated this technique. She's such an inspiration to me and I know she's an inspiration to a lot of people. So if you're coming on here and haven't seen her videos, I highly, highly, highly recommend her YouTube channel, Pouring Your Heart Out. She's got a lot of amazing amazing designs and things that she's done. All right, there we go. Starting to kind of move already. I am gonna take my little stick here. There was a little blob here. I'm just gonna kind of try to move it around. Don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. The ink kind of floats up to the top and does weird things, so. Turn a little bubble. Come on, get out. All right. And I will be able to spray this with um, alcohol when I'm all done. So get rid of some of those bubbles. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little black tool here. You can take anything. You could take the end you know, of one of these sticks, whatever you want. And I'm gonna pull it towards the center. I always pull towards the center. Some You can pull outwards and it makes a really cool design, but I'm kind of just hung up on pulling it towards the center. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. And also do not Put your tool, try not to scrape the bottom of your mold when you're doing this. You just want to kind of bring in the white so it makes petals. And I know I'm not perfect at doing it, but I'll do a little swirl in the middle. Almost halfway done. I just love this technique and I have such a great time doing it. I have other ideas to do things, but they have not worked out as of yet. But my brain is so filled with ideas that I'm going to be doing this until I'm 100 and I probably still won't get all my ideas out or successful. if I swirl this one or not. So I'm just going to give it a little swirl there. All right, last one. I always do it in a specific order, <laughs> just kind of out of habit. I always make like my four quadrants first so that I can make sure I'm making the petals evenly separated because I am not so good at uh, eyeballing it, if you will. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm really excited. It's already starting to bloom. 
um, that looks like the center is going to probably be like a super dark purple and then go out to blue and then to green. Um, and hopefully my swirls turn out all right. Of course, we won't know anything until we go to unmold it tomorrow. So if you hold on just a second, I'll bring the camera down so you can get a little bit of a close-up look. Hold on one second. All right, here we go. Here is a close-up look. And if I zoom in or move down, you can see that the petals are already starting to, to form. They're coming out and blooming. So this one I think is going to be a little harder to see. I added too much green, but it still looks beautiful. Here we go. So fingers crossed, this all comes out nicely and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, welcome back. It is the next day. It's been about almost 24 hours since I made these and we're ready to unmold and see how they turned out. Fingers crossed, they came out nicely. Here we go. So we'll start with this one right here. There's nothing more, uh, more satisfying than unmolding stuff. Oh, wow. That came out gorgeous. Couple little clumps there, but oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I will get something black to put it on. Here, let's see. Let's see if it works in this. There's it with black on it. You can kind of really see the petals and a nice big swirl. And I really like how it's like purple and comes out to like a bluish green. I did lose my green in the middle there, but that's okay. I don't mind. Not mad at all. Looks really cool. All right. Let's do another one. They're probably going to be very similar, but... Yeah, wow, that looks really cool. I just really love the colors as they kind of fade out towards the outside. This one's got a little bit more darker green in it. No fin, I'm sorry. My kitten wants to um, sit on my lap while I do this. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Yes, Finn, I know. I swear he's the most loving and lovable cat I've ever met in my life. I love him. All right, here we go. Oh, I like that a lot. That is so gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is the one that had all that extra green in it. But actually, when you're looking at it, it looks like it has more purple than green. <laughs> what do you know? Where strange things happen. It's like Christmas. You never know what's going to happen. And no matter how hard you try, no two are exactly alike ever. So... But, you know, you can get them kind of matching. And that's what, what's cool about having, you know, art like this is that they're all um, individual pieces. So there will be nothing else like it in the world. All right. Last one. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. I really like these. These came out really nice. Really cool. All of them are different. So not any two are the same. But I think they came out really, really cool. What do you guys think? If you want to, you can leave comments. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next time.